I can't stop thinking about this guy. I have a crush on it. We're having a girls trip. Wow, science. We're doing Gen Z, by the way. Toodles, we're gonna listen to Taylor Swift. Taco Bell Cantina's retirement community. I'm so excited because I'm about to play in a pickleball tournament. And I'm about to kick some ass. about it in a sec sorry my ice maker is making ice right now i'm obsessed with this new aloe color it's their like ballerina collection i got this in a medium and it's still pretty oversized which we love skirt is fabletics shoes are aloe and then my little socks are these cutie little smiley face socks from free people are you kidding me how cute i'm gonna try to explain to you how i'm feeling because maybe you guys can relate <laughs> that better i'm overwhelmed because it's been a minute since i've like been traveling a lot and i'm just not used to it and i'm not used to like getting back into the swing of things and in my head i want to have like a killer day and like crush the day and like do all the things i need to do but like unfortunately i also have to deal with the repercussions of me traveling so i need to like unpack i need to clean like my house is a mess i got groceries last night thankfully i don't know i'm just trying to like do all the little things that like make me feel good but also simultaneously have a great work day and like get a workout in and i'm supposed to go to dinner with my friends and i, I don't know i'm just like overwhelmed i guess and like normally when i have days like this i'm like i got this i'm gonna crush it but for some reason i just maybe it's because oh i feel like i'm understanding now over the weekend i was working all weekend maybe it's because i didn't have a reset day and now i'm like trying to put my reset and my work day together that's it Wow, science. I'm gonna write a list in my handy dandy journal. I got this at a place in the Century City Mall in LA called Typo, and it's literally $5. And it's so effing cute and it's so big. It's driving me nuts because I wanna film, but I feel overwhelmed because my house is a mess. And when my house is a mess, it's like hard to film because I don't want it to look disgusting in the background. So let me just like write my thoughts out and then we'll start doing things. Go. Ever. I'll link it below okay. with this girl. We have, Love we her. Have, well, oh shit, we're, we're doing Gen Z. My fingers don't work that way. We're doing, hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. we're doing Gen Z, by the way. Okay, you guys, a lot of people have left, but this was the Mara dinner. It was so fun, so cute, so healthy. I'm so excited to try the new product. You guys need to try it. Yeah, you know, we'll be here all day. Something that I've been doing to blow my hair out is using mousse. This is the Not Your Mother's Voluminizing Plump for Joy mousse. I have been really liking it. I also like the Briogeo one. I just put it like in the roots and then just like bring it down to my ends kind of, but I really try to saturate the root because I have like flat straight hair. 
So when I blow my hair out, I really want like that volume, that bounciness. I unfortunately won't have anything close to that unless I use like products in my hair. So I feel like slowly but surely I'm finding which products work best for me. I also like this Color Wow Dream Coat. I'm going to this place called Penmar tonight in LA. Kind of like an adult picnic meets Coachella do. I normally don't go this hard when I'm getting ready, but because it's the beginning of the weekend slash I have like a bunch I'm doing this weekend, I wanted to feel as hot as possible. I don't know, I've been trying to like really go all in on my self care. If ice rolling makes me feel better about myself, like why not make the extra time to do it? Or if self tanning makes myself feel better about myself, like again, why the hell am I not making time to do it? That was my biggest thing. I feel like I underestimate how much time I need and want to get ready. Like just because I only need 20 or 30 minutes to get ready doesn't mean I don't want like a full hour to like do all my other things. So I did my red light therapy this morning. I went for a long walk today, submitted some brand stuff, did some email. I've been on the phone all day. Like my car's getting fixed. So I've been figuring that out. I got my nails done by the way, I like this bright red. I haven't had red in a while. I've been doing like a French tip and I'm glad. I feel like I wanted to spice it up. I'm excited for tonight. I hope it's a fun night. Panama's tough. I feel like to dress for. It's weird because you're like sitting at a picnic, but like you want to look hot. But, like it's hard to look hot when you're sitting at a picnic. Like you really need to wear something casual, but it's like I'm going out after I want to look and feel hot and I wear to wear like my tight pants. Oh, hold on, here's my car person. Yeah. We are heading to a brand trip with Hyundai, which we're so excited about. It's a little BFF trip. It is. I'm Lexi, by the way. <laughs> oh my gosh. As if they don't know you. <laughs> I'm really excited. I'm really excited too. What are you looking forward to the most? I'm looking forward to hopefully driving the car, honestly. Like I love test driving cars. I drive a 2010 Honda Accord. So anything or any time that I can drive something from this decade, happy camper. From this decade. <laughs> Yeah, my car is a teenager. I feel like I've been on a few Hyundai trips and this is like the first one with just creators. Okay, so I'm excited that. to see like the format and the layout and how things are a little different and hang out with the Hyundai girlies. I love the Hyundai girlies. Shout out Tanya and Sammy. We're staying at a little ranch and I think there's going to be a pool. We're I think our content's going to be really night. good. Um, the activities are we have a wine and paint night cute dinners. I also brought some empty little hot outfits. Excuse my language. Oh, amazing. These cute little hot outfits. And I'm excited to take photos. Of them. Yeah. And I'm excited to spend some quality time with Lexi because I haven't seen her in a so while. True besties. So true. <laughs> haven't seen her in a while ever since I've moved away from her. Yeah. But okay. it'll be fun. And you'll be here along with us. I love exploring like a new place. Like I would never go here if it weren't for Hyundai. Okay, you know? that's honestly what I should have said at the beginning. I moved here about two years ago and I've made it a point to explore California because the first time I lived here, I only hung out in Los Angeles and California is one of the prettiest states. It's probably in the, the whole prettiest. country. Yeah. I would argue. I'm like, I haven't really seen the Pacific Northwest yet, but California is gorgeous. So Stunning. an opportunity to see Los Correct us how we say it. Los, Los Olvios. So true. So true. So fair. All right, toodles. We're going to listen to Taylor Swift. We made it to our room. I am so exhausted. I want to show you what the room looks like, though, before we, like, absolutely destroy it, even though we kind of already have. I'm obsessed with this bed. I really like beds that... What kind of bed is this, Lexi? It's sort of like a canopy bed. Yeah, it is. I, I like that type of... Like, I feel like it's so grand. Like a high four bed post. Anyway. Oh, but it's so sexy. And it's so I sexy. It's so grand because you couldn't have a bed like this in a small space. Yeah. But also, so cool, the little tiny frame. I was just thinking that. Because the, like, the juxtaposition. Anyway, we walk in, there's a little day bed. Lexi was working here earlier. We have a fireplace. We have a TV, which is amazing. All these little goodies from my favorite Hyundai girlies. In here, we have a Stanley, which I'm so excited about. We have popcorn. A little postcard, some mints. What is this? Ooh, Backgammon. Swedish candy. Backgammon. Is that what the, is in here? No, that's my electronic case. Oh, I'm done. This is backgammon. Oh, shut up. That's so a cute. Rollout case. That's so cute for the beach. Obsessed with it. The part. And then we have these gorgeous, gorgeous like curtains that are blackout curtains. And we have an amazing like patio situation. I'll show you tomorrow. Again, here's the bed. And then we have several 
Floor length mirrors, which is an amazing a addition. Station. Yeah, to the hotel room. And then the grand bathroom. Love this bathroom. Claw foot tub. Are you kidding? Look at these black feet. I know. They're amazing. These robes, which I can't wait to get into. And then we're gonna shower in this gorgeous we're shower. We're there, we're bathing in here, we're rolling. Like we're doing things. all the things. We're having a girls' trip. And even like kind of like the chic black and white toilet. No, I love it. It's so, it's so us right now. Are you it, kidding? Literally, it's so us. It's so us. <laughs> we have had a great start. I met the iconic Delaney Childs bun tutorial girl. She met the bun. I met the bun. Um, I met her husband, Clayton. Love him. Love Clayton. Met, I don't know the relationship oh, status. I know, great. So serious. I think it's either like fiance or married. They're married. Right I think they're home, married. So yeah, things are married. going well. I think they're married. Um, Graydon, love and love his cousin, Franny. And then Tanya was also at our table. From Loved our day. table. Yeah, our table ate. Like, like literally. Ten out of tens all around. Yeah. Anyway, we're getting ready to go watch The Goonies. And I'm so full and tired, but I'm really excited. It's just been such a lovely time so far. <laughs> guys, Sammy looks like Ashley Tisdale. <laughs> like brunette Ashley oh, Tisdale? I see, that. I see it. I do see it. Oh my God. She's pregnant right now. Yes, she is. I'm not a it's circus you're, you're animal. Me video. Here Cheers. we go. All right, you're Wait, gonna I'm really scared. Chew. Don't let it just sit there. You're going to chew and breathe out your nose. <laughs> okay. You got it? Keep, keep chewing. Oh You've no, she's doing it wrong. She's gonna better. die. It's not working. <laughs> Nothing happened. Where did it go? I oh, she's dying. Out. She's dying. She's dying. She's oh my gosh. Resuscitated. Her her Help her. There was like that was that happened? was incredible. It made you do a twist. <laughs> it made you do a twirl. <laughs> you didn't do it. You didn't do it again. It's so strong. It made you start twirling. Yeah. Are you going again? Yeah. All right. Good luck. Oh my god, I'm really scared. Cheers. Cheers. No, I'm good. No freaking me out. Okay. Yeah, there you go. You do it. Now breathe out your nose. Okay, she tried again. Spit it again. <laughs> Ow, it hurts my teeth. No, 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 not Look you. Look at how seamless, you guys. These Ow. guys are just cool. I don't like that. I don't like doing that stuff. It's like you, know, snap. you don't have to do it again. Say no to drugs. I, I, I no said I didn't have to do it. Have to do it again. At you, the end of the day, trust your gut. Yeah, and face your fears. <laughs> don't give in to peer pressure. up with clear skin today. So that's how you know it's gonna be a good day. That's how you know it's gonna be a good content day because like, ignore the scar, but like, I think this is the culprit for my clear skin. It's this Mara Beauty Clear Skin Mineral Milk. Here's the thing, I just went to a dinner for this product and they were like, yeah, 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 it helps with acne, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm kind of like, yeah, 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 like I have acne, we'll see about that. I don't know, I feel like it's really hard to make a product that's like gonna heal your acne. And I'm not saying this is gonna heal your like hormonal intent acne, but like whatever the fork I had on my face last night is gone, which is crazy because I didn't even use like a pimple patch or anything. So I will be using her again. And then on top, I use their universal face oil. Nuts. Like that combo, lethal in the best way. I can't stop thinking about this guy I have a crush on. Like, he's so not my type. I guess he has that dog in him or something. I don't really know what's going on. We have our big like content day today. So I'm gonna try and get cute so that I wanna take content of myself. I also have a lot of like random work going, like our some edits to do. So grateful to be here. Love all the experiences. Love getting my content. Love doing all the things that Hyundai's offering. And by the way, obsessed with the Hyundai team, they're amazing. One of my best decisions, truly, was deciding to work with Hyundai, I'm not kidding you. So grateful to be working with them. They have one of the best influencer teams, I think, in my opinion. Anyway, the one thing that's hard about the brand trips is like, one, you're traveling, so it makes you just like a little bit more tired than usual, or like, at least it makes me a little bit more tired than usual. I mean, this face oil is to die for. You're kidding. The second thing about the brand trips that's a little challenging is like, this is a Monday through Wednesday, so like, yeah, I'm working while I'm here, but also there's like a bunch of other things like blowing up in my email that I need to be doing. So it is challenging to manage it all. Cause like last night I was trying to stay up getting ahead like or catching up from the day because like I was like traveling, socializing, networking, doing all the like Hyundai things. Like I don't want to be rude editing a video like when we're doing a group activity, but it's like, when am I gonna get my other work done, you know? I'm trying to figure out a good balance of that in my head. If I get something done that I wasn't expecting to get done that day, then like, I'm kind of happy with it. Now let's put them on a little sunscreen. I've been vibing with this Peter Thomas Roth. You guys, I also gave two of my pickleball guy friends. Hey, uh, 
skincare routine. They were so funny about it. Like, they still use it, I think, every day. At least they tell me that. We'll see if they actually do. I don't think they were using moisturizer. I definitely don't think they were using serums. And then I think maybe once in a blue moon they would use SPF. And I, like, drilled it into them. They're like, okay, sorry. So I gave them a whole skincare lineup. I gave them the good shit. And now they're my glowy gods instead of goddesses. I love a man that can like enter his feminine side and like listen to a woman, you know what I mean? Like, do you wanna look super old when you're in your 30s? Like, no, wear some SPF, you know? Uh-oh, Lexi's back. I had one of the videographers, I had this shot in my mind. I had this overhead shot with all the hot days lined up and I wanted to be in my cute little booty shorts. Oh, is it not recording? It's recording. Oh, amazing. I <laughs> I can't tell with this camera. It has a big red square and it has this red dot. You're so right. <laughs> okay, I wanted to be Standing up my... for my camera, okay? No, just, as you should. Um, I wanted to be in my cute little boots and my little mini shorts and I wanted an overhead shot of me walking by all the Hyundai Tucson's. And the videographer Thomas came through and did Shut up! I love it! Dude, I'm so excited for you! Thank you, I had a vision, vision came to life, now I can put on makeup and get my day started. Baby, I'm out of your league, league but, but I, I want, want you, you so, so bad. bad. Stream Olivia's new song. You're a little... Oh, what do we say on TK's channel? You're Forking. a little... Forking freak! <laughs> it's objectively <laughs> sad. So good. We're Olivia O'Brien fans over here. Yeah. She's a pop star. It's shocking to me that she's not like... 20 million times bigger. Yeah, we're like, trying to make her the next Sabrina Carpenter. So if yeah, you join like, our PR revolution, it would yeah. really be. So, like, do the transition we just did on TikTok. Yeah, like, I don't know, tell your friends. We're consulting with each other behind Olivia's back theater to blow up. Yeah, like, so. Olivia has no idea we're doing this. <laughs> we make, like, a bunch of dances for people to do to that song. What's your favorite makeup primer? Right now, I'm obsessed with this elf one. Mm. Power grip. This Givenchy concealer. Ooh. Love her. See, look at this concealer. It eats. It eats. So I was telling them about my crush. The pickleball man. Well, I haven't like, I I haven't revealed like details, you know. I mean, I didn't I know. Thought I thought that was the nickname. I, no, he is pickleball man, for sure. Well, where else do you But like, he's gonna man? know he's pickleball man. I mean, who knows? You're playing pickleball. I, I do play it with hella men, so. So who, how would he know that So he's... true. He honestly probably has no idea, actually. You're right. Pickleball princess, pickleball prince. I'm just looking to find my prince and I fear I have. I support it. I haven't seen TK with a crush. I've been yapping about him and yeah. I don't do this. No, I don't want to say this is meaningful because I don't want to- No, that's you. crazy. <laughs> okay, do you want to hear something? Really that's bad. nuts. I will go cuckoo bananas if I have a crush. There was one time I had a crush just like a few years ago and I was so far in delusion between my friends, between my friends, but the delusion stayed insular, you know? See, yeah, Emily doesn't help when I have a crush because she makes me- Oh, well, this is who I said yeah, it yeah. around. Like, <laughs> Emily was there, we had a group of people, we were at a concert, and one of our other friends that, you know, I don't see very often was like, so are you seeing anyone? And I was like, yeah. Shut up. I said I was seeing someone. I wasn't seeing anyone. I was not seeing anyone. Emily grabs me and I was like, I cannot believe I just said that. That's and I was like, I'm not, I'm not seeing anyone. I'm not seeing anyone. What the? Oh my God, the delusion. It, it, it left the building and that's not You were okay. manifesting. Yeah, he's gay. Oh, <laughs> no. My favorite type of man. No. I love the gays. I mean, same, but like. Not in a romantic way. It's always accidental because they're so pretty and I love a handsome man. So what did you tell them about the crush? I just said like, I haven't had a crush like this in a while. I but haven't seen anyone with a crush like this. What's your favorite word right now? <laughs> <laughs> this is such a neat question. Um, honestly, and I don't know where I'm always going to laugh at that. But I keep saying cuckoo bananas and I don't know hey, where- you are. I don't know where that came from and that's new, but the worst phase of words I ever went through is when I accidentally started calling any inanimate object and or myself shoddy. That's crazy. No, I, I'll tell a little story. So I'm on a free people lunch with an employee, obviously love the brand, trying to make a good impression. And we're getting this gorgeous lobster salad. And there's this enormous hunk of lobster on this salad. I don't know. And I just looked at it. I was like, wow, shoddy's huge. <laughs> Shut up. And I was like, Lexi. 
Lexi, shut up. Why did you just say that? Tyra just like smirks. <laughs> Shawnee's <laughs> huge is crazy. So Cuckoo Bananas has replaced it. I say that's bananas a lot. Yeah. Cuckoo I, Bananas is fun though. Sometimes like, oh, that's bananas is more effective than like, that's fucking crazy. Yeah, you I know? think fucking crazy. I'm tired of it. Yeah. Cuckoo Bananas, I'm not tired of it yet. Yeah, 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 exactly. I learned this last time when I made a bad driving move and someone gave me a thumbs down. <gasps> Way more impactful than flipping me the bird. Thumbs down's crazy. <laughs> Like, oh, yeah, I should do that the next time he says something inappropriate. I'm like, that's crazy. To, to see someone drive by and be like, you're like, oh, you're not mad, you're disappointed. And that hurts more. That hurts way more. What is your favorite word, guys? Yeah, comment down below what word you're like hyper fixating over today. Lexi and I are having breakfast. Yum. Hi, Dax. Yes. It's a good boy. I adopted him about five months ago. Oh, really? Shut up. You guys, look at Dax. He, he did this on his own. Yeah, that's crazy. Okay. You said, do you like being on camera? And he lifted his paw. Yeah. I have real Do you like being on camera? Do it for mine now. <laughs> <laughs> She'll take a kiss. Shut like, up. You you're so cute. Separated. He's like, I can't just be performing. Oh, there we go. See, he loves Lexi. Good boy. Good boy. So nice to meet ya. Not sure if y'all can see me, but our first stop of the day is a lavender and olive tree farm. We're gonna do a little olive oil and vinegar tasting. And there's like a cute little store. We just met Dax, the dog. It's adorable. Look at this lavender. The thing is about shooting a car is it's a little challenging. Like it's fun, but it's hard because like you're trying to be safe. Yeah, you have to find a safe space to go. You also wanna find a quiet space to go that's not gonna have too many people or too many cars passing by. And like luckily we have each other because filming this alone would be yeah, especially Impossible. if you wanted like driving clips. I, I've tried moving my phone in different places and it's hard but to navigate. But I feel like we've gotten good shit oh, so we, far. I have so much content to work with. We're also literally parked on the side of the road. Let me show you where we are. I mean, that is just stunning. We're doing a photo booth. You're off-roading. I'm in a truck, y'all. I'm in a truck. This is what I wanted. Ooh. Yeah, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is legit. Look how sick this looks. <laughs> We're getting pics. Hey! Hey, boys! Hey, guys! You guys, they put all of our art in here. I'm dying. This is of me. Like, that couldn't be funnier. And there's me. Welcome to the art show. Gallery. Yeah, so the gallery. Wait, I didn't even see this one before. That's a good one. I'm getting ready for a trivia night. I'm so effing tired, but like, I'm so excited and I love trivia night, so like, I obviously can't miss it. We have blow dried. Now I'm going to put on some light makeup. I'm ready. Very chill outfit. I'm excited. The fourth round is gonna be a music round where I'm gonna give you 10 songs. You have to name the song and the artist. One point for the song, one point for the artist. The songs are connected in a theme. Without further ado, let's get into it. Game night was a blast. My team won. I'm not really good at like historical or scientific trivia, but the entertainment trivia, give me that all day long. Like that is so forking fun. Austin, the guy that like does the trivia, by the way, like comes up with all the questions himself. He does this fun game at the end where he plays 10 songs. You get bonus points if you know the song and the artist, but the whole point of the 10 songs is that they all have some sort of connection. So last night, the connection was that they're all board games. So one of the songs was like, life is a highway. And that would be like life. And one of the songs was something with the twist. And that was like Twister. The other one was Sorry by Justin Bieber. Our team kind of crushed it. I've been with this team now twice. So I think it would be fun to mix it up the next time just to see, because I feel like I know you know, everyone on my team's strengths. Allo is just like, there's always someone cool there. So it's like, I need to look a little bit decent. I mean, I'm working out, like it's just gonna sweat off, but like, I guess it's better to have a little something, something than nothing. And then I have a busy day. And tonight I think I'm gonna play pickleball. Sorry, I feel like all I talk about is pickleball, but it's like all I think about. It's just so fun. Using this little Ulta beauty collection, whip oil. I love this shit, period. We're calling it a day. I've been waiting for this. 